The police department prosecuting Lieutenant Brian Rice for his actions on April 12, 2015 in connection with the arrest of Freddie Gray also discovered on that very same day that its own system was inherently flawed. Problems with policy, practices, and equipment so glaring, department brass ordered changes the next day. That's according to defense witness Lieutenant Robert Quick, who said the blame lies with the van. In my opinion, sir, the wagon itself is the problem. If we transported in cars instead of wagons, we wouldn't even be here. I don't think the seatbelts prevent anything. But of course, seatbelts and department policy concerning their use is at the heart of the disciplinary hearing on the campus of the University of Baltimore this week. Police department attorneys argue a new seatbelt policy, number 1114, was announced three days before Freddie Gray's arrest. And so, as shift commander, Lieutenant Rice was ultimately responsible for Gray being buckled in. But Lieutenant Quick, the guy in charge of writing BPD policy, said the department dropped the ball by rolling out its new seatbelt policy in a vacuum. Instead of putting a printed copy in each officer's hands as required, policy 1114 was emailed in a document dump, along with five others, some 80 pages of PDF files. The email was not flagged and was not easy to access. At the time, Quick said, BPD members members didn't have laptops, didn't always have access to desktops, and were using cell phones that either couldn't open the files or made them impossible to read. Shortly after this incident, he said, we quickly realized this is a system we have to fix. After calling its final witness, the defense rested its case this afternoon. Closing arguments are tomorrow. Live in Midtown tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.